Good evening once again and welcome to today's meeting. Um, so I'm just going to run through the new features that have been integrated into the PrimeBot um, platform and how you can use them and how best you can apply them for a better understanding. And I will probably be demonstrating in this meeting how much um, that you should be needing when you, want, when you want to set up a particular, um, using the split method, how much you should be expecting to set up the split method and, and so on. So basically what um, the new platform, for those of you who were not here last, um, last meeting, what the new platform is actually taking care of is, you know, not enough for the issues that the new platform is actually taking care of is the issue of not enough funds to cover when using double position settings. And then position getting stuck during market volatility example would be this. If you look at my trade, some of these trades you see that it has been stuck for over a month plus now. And so these are some of the things that um, this is taking care of. That is because I was covering to some extent, I couldn't go any longer and then everything got stuck yeah, at the middle. So the, the only thing that will happen is just to wait patiently, wait for the market to you know um, go back to where it, it, it actually crashes from or above that for all of these that you're looking at right now to be able to fill up. So this new platform is equally taking care of that. And then not being able to profit during market crash condition. So we all know that cryptocurrency, um, the crypto market is a volatile one. It goes up in a zigzag manner. It goes up and then comes down. It can come down again, come down again, then goes up that way. Um, so whenever you're trading spot, even when you're manually doing it, Whenever, and I, I believe you might have heard me say in one of my videos that the easiest and safest way to trade cryptocurrency is um, actually trading spot. Now, why it is easy is because um, on the long run, you are not losing money. On the long run, you are not losing money. But just that at times we are very impatient with, you know, some of this um, platform. That is why... Um, we can't wait and then we sell whatever we have made or we have bought whatever set we have bought, we sell them at loss out of fear, uh, which is part of you know, what controls the market. Um, fear, doubts, and uncertainties. Those are some of the things, the major things, or some of the major things that control the crypto market. So when this uh, actually spring up, it makes a lot of persons sell in fear, even those who, are, who claim that they are holding crypto they will actually run into the market and sell their stuff and you know disappear, sell them at loss and disappear. But one thing is patient is a key um, when it comes to trading crypto, most especially when you are trading spot. So this is what is happening right here. I have to be patient for this to actually go for me to make profit. So the, the, the new system is actually taking care of this, um, some of these challenges and um, What's the new system about? It is about um, the split uh, matching our strategy. This is what Prime Board just integrated. And for all of the board, I believe you might have come across one or two boards that are, you know, um, trading quantitative, um, that are going through these quantitative trading styles and the rest. But this is what made Prime Board stands out, this new feature that they just added. And what is this actually taking care of? Now the new, the system we have been used to is what you see here. This is a standard average um, down strategy, meaning that if you want to um, use 20 USDT as your first purchase price, and then you want to cover up to the seventh call, you will need 20 USDT. What this simply means is that every time the market draws by a, a certain percentage, you are instructing the board to buy for you, using the matching strategy to buy for you, um, double the amount, the first price that he bought. So in this case, your first price is $20. So when it drops to a certain level, like in this case, 3%, when the market draws by 3%, you are instructing the board to buy double the first amount that he bought. So after a year, if you keep dropping, you're equally instructing the bot to buy double the previous amount that he bought. So in this case, this will be double of 
um, 20, this will be double of 40, this will be double of 80, and it continues like that until you get to the seven core. So if you use this strategy, which was what we were using before, it means that for you to cover with $20 as your first purchase price, so you to cover up to the seven core, you need a total of 5,100 to do that. But the new strategy now take care of this, which you can just use half of this. And um, the beautiful thing about it is not just using half of this, but that for every split, it is treated separately as a separate trade. I'll be demonstrating that in a moment. So instead of using uh, 5,100, this time around, you are using almost half of the money. And so to cover up to the seven core, you just need 2,100 to do that. So what the new split strategy actually helps us achieve is, you know, its position in the split strategy is manually exclusive from each other, meaning that the board will treat its position as a different trade altogether. As a different trade altogether. The benefit is that the board will individually sell out each position according to its own average price and take profit ratio. So in summary, what this new strategy is helping us do is that it will be, you are able to make profit during market crash, that it reduces capital required to cover up to a certain number of, you know, coverage if you want to, you know, um, a certain number of calls if you want to actually average down. And then it reduces the risk of trading in a volatile market and it generates stable profit consistently. Now, the previous meeting we had the other day, um, some of us wanted to know how much it will cost us to actually trade with a little capital like $100, how much will you trade? And before I go into this, let me just tell us, show us what the split method looks like. So if I go ahead and open up, um, I think I have BTC on that split method. So if I open up the BTC USDT and I scroll down here, this is what the split method looks like. You have first split, you have second split, you have third split, you have fourth split. And if I go to the setting here, you see that you can go up to the 10th split. This is where you set up that split. And um, as it was before, what we had was just single and circle mode. And then these two options were not there. This replenishment uh, mode was not there. So here we now have the split Matzinger and then the Matzinger strategy. This is the old system. If you want to use the old settings, if you have any um, 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 a higher amount, let's say from 100K upward, you can actually go with this old system. But if not, um, going forward, just go with this um, split strategy. And with this, once you select the split, uh, split strategy, all you see is the number of split. You go ahead, you can select from one up to 10. Um, so anything that is less than um, $1,000, please don't go above this. Don't go beyond this for um, the fourth split. Anything that is below $1,000, don't go below this. And then the take profit ratio we are used to this is 2%. And then the earning call back, we have it at 0 0.1. And then we have the call back for margin call at 0 0.3. Then where the unit set of the split is where you have advanced setting. This is where you have the split. And then you have first, uh, because I selected four, um, the number of split to be four, you have first split, second split, third, and then the fourth split. But before I go into the chat to let you know how much is required to cover up for first, second, and third split, this is what I want us to understand. Whenever you're setting up your split method, if you don't have anything above $1,000, please don't put on, put on this new, uh, this uh, double position on. If you don't have anything above $1,000, don't put on this um, double position on. Now, if I go ahead, let me go back to the previous page. What I want you to pay attention to is this. This is the split. And then this is the number of calls that you have. Now for the first split, we have the first um, as one, and then the second as two, and then the third as four. So when you look at the second split, it carries the same number. The third split carries the same number. The fourth carry the same number, one, two, 
um, and, and 4, 1, 2, and 4. What this simply means is that on the first split, you're asking the board, this becomes your first purchase amount. The first order here becomes your first purchase amount, which is the first call. And then the second cover becomes your second, your first actually um, average down. Meaning that what you're instructing the board is whenever the price drops to, let's say, 3%, it should buy twice what it bought before. And then when it draws further um, to the second cover, it should buy uh, twice what it bought previously. So because we are using single mode and we are not putting on the double position on, it will just be one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four. Even if you are covering up to the seventh or the tenth split, it will just be one, two, four, one, two, four, in as much as you don't check that double position on. So if I go back to the setting and put on that double position, let me just show you what the difference will look like. If I go ahead and put in this double position on and uh, scroll here and update these settings. So what you will now see this time around is on the first split, we have one, two, four. The second split, is, instead of one, two, four, it is now two, four, eight. The third split is now 4, 8, 16. So what this is simply doing is instead of you know, buying just one, one, one as it was before, it is now doubling what it bought in the first split. So the, first, the second split will double what you have in the first split. And then the third split will double what you have in the second split. And the fourth split will double what you have in the, fourth, in the third split. So if you take it to the 10th split, it will keep doubling um, what the previous split was. This is what this is actually. Um, so it, it means that if $50 would have covered for the first split, you will need $100 to be able to cover for that um, uh, going on because you are using the double position on. So those are the difference between the double position and then the the checking this on and checking it off. So get that in um in mind so that uh, why i go to the chat you'll be able to follow up with the explanations so if i come back here to explain this better now um this is the amount we are using as our first purchase amount this one is what we are using as our first purchase amount which in this case is 15 and 15 usdt is the minimum amount you can start trading with on the prime board uh, platform so now using the split strategy means that you are going with let's assume that we are covering from first split to the fifth split and for each of these split this is treated as a separate trade it is treated as a separate each of these trade uh, split you see here is treated as a separate um, uh, trade meaning that if this second split is actually um triggered and either Bitcoin or whatever coin you are trading is revolving around this split. If it goes up by 2%, because our take profit ratio is always 2%, um, take profit is always 2%. So if this market goes up by 2%, once this second split is triggered, this will automatically, whatever amount of coin that this second split is holding, it will automatically be triggered for it to automatically be sold and then wait to sell the first split again, and then continue that way again. If you are using circle mode, it will automatically continue the process for you. But if you are using single mode, once it covers for each of these splits and then sells automatically, the trades will end. So if you are starting with 15 USDT as your first purchase price, and then let's assume that the price of the coin you are trading is 100, 100 USDT at the moment, and you have entered the market at 15 USDT. So what you are now instructing the board is that when the price drops by 3%, when it drops by 3%, now for the first split, you can only put the number between um, the second call and the third call. Second call and the third call. This order, this first one here doesn't allow you to put any number. And the reason for that is, let me go back here again is because that is your first purchase price. If I come back here, you will see that um, on the first split here, this is the first one here, you can't type anything here. 
the first plate here, you can't type anything here because this is your first purchase price. And the same thing applies to the second split. This becomes your first purchase price and it goes on like that and like that. So when the price drops by 3%, and you are instructing the board 3% where um, when 100 USDT drops by 3% because becomes 97. So that is when your first call will be triggered. The first call now will now be double of your 15 USDT. So here it will buy twice of this. And then your average price will then drop from you know, 100 down to 95.7. You don't really need to follow up this because you may not really understand it, but you always see it on your trade where it tells you that the average um, you have an average price and uh, you have here, this is your average price. And then you have your liquidation price. The average price, once it hits this price, you your trade will start being in profit. Meaning that you can liquidate the trade whenever you want. But for it to hit the 2%, it means that it needs to get to this liquidation price and uh, before automatically the board will close the trade for you. So that is what that means. So here, when it draws by 3%, the second, the first split here, which is the first call will be triggered, meaning that it is 30 or twice the 15 USDT you are buying. So when it draws to the second call by 4%, this one will be triggered. So everything you have here will become a separate trade entirely. If the price goes up from here and hit 2%, this will automatically be sold and you'll make profit of whatever the total amount here is in this case the total amount for the first split will be 105 usdt so to cover for the first split alone you need 100 using the 15 usdt as a first purchase price you need 105 usdt so if you want to cover to the second split you need a total of 210 usdt for you to cover split one split two if you want to cover to this uh, third split, you need a total of 420 to cover up to this third split. So this is what this simply means. And this is when you are not using double position on. Sorry, when you are using double position on. This column here is when you are using double position on. Uh, let me just do it without the double position so that we'll be able to understand it. So if I change this, this is without double position. If I change this to 15 USDT, so it will just be the same for all uh, for the split. This means that in the first one, you need 105. So instead of doubling <laughs> as it is in when you are using the double position, it will just add the second one to read because on the second split, it is buying um, and I didn't change this, so this has to be 15 as well. So in all of it, in all of the splits, you just need 100, 105, 105. So here will be 15, 15, 15, and it goes on like that. So here, you need 105 to cover for the first split. You need 105 to cover for the second split. You need 105 to cover for the third split. And even if it gets to the 10th split, it is just the same amount. If I change it from 15 to 20, it means that you need 140 here, the same thing, 140, 140, until it gets to the last one. If I change it to 30, whatever amount you have here, if this is your first purchase amount, it means that you need 210 to cover for the first split, 210 to cover for the second, the third, and the fourth. And it goes on like that and like that. This is when you are using with that double position. Check on. If you check the double position on, it means that it will be doubling. So if here is 210, here will be two, 420. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it goes on. So it will just be doubling every position, every split until it gets to the last split depending on the number of split you are using. That is when you are checking the double position on. So this should give us an idea of what we should be working with. It means that if you only have 100 USDT and you want to go with 15 USDT as your first purchase price, then you can only come in here to the trade and go to setting 
And instead of uh, when you see the quantity here, when you see the number of uh, split, instead of choosing four, you just go with one and then you save. So you just go with one split and you save. And if I scroll down here, you'll see that it says advanced setting one split, which is one, two, three, meaning that if I'm using one um, 15 USDT, I only need to cover from one, two, three, and this will give me a total of 105 USDT. So um, this is basically what I needed us to understand so that we'll be able to you know, know how to set up our trade. If you have 200, then you can come in here to the trade and set the split to two. And it goes on like that and like that. But if I change this to 20, it means that your 100 may not be cover. Um, you need what you need is a 140 USDT to be able to cover for the first split, and it goes on like that and like that. And then when you're having this little amount of money, please don't go with the double put, the don't go with the circle mode. Change your trade to single mode so that you can manually be controlling the trade. Whenever it sells the first one in profit, you come back set up the trade again. That is the only solution to this. All right, any question based on what I just explained now? Um, do you have questions? Do you have things to contribute to what I've said? Uh, like for example, in the, I think I understand it better as we go, although I've registered. Um, so I, I, haven't really un, I, I haven't really understood it completely, but I, I pray. So now uh, the question I had in mind was, um, so you were saying something like below 1,000 and the lowest money to start with is 15, right? Now, is, there, is it possible for you to make a bad trade and it sees, it sees that money? Let's assume it starts with something like maybe $700 or something. No, with this, new, with this new strategy, it can't seize your money. Now, when I say the minimum you can start with is $15, yes, you can trade with $15, but Right now, the way the market is, the only way 15 USDT can be profitable for you is when we are in a bullish market. Okay. Because it means that you just enter the market and the market continues to show up. That way you would have sold and made profit. But the reason for all of these settings that you are seeing here that are so complicated and so confusing, the reason for all of these um, settings it is because the market does not go in one direction. Okay. And that is why we will now come in here and say, okay, the call percentage, here where they have the call percentage, you are saying, okay, I want to enter this price, the price of this coin is 100 USDT. This is where I want to enter the price. And then I'm saying I want to make profit when it decreases by 2%, two, 2%. meaning that 2%, that will now be 102 USDT, right? Yeah. That is when I want to make profit. If it increases by 102, what if it doesn't increase by 102? That is when all of this other percentage now comes in. So you, you are now instructing the board that if the price drops by um, two, by 3%, for instance, you want to your first call to be triggered. And that first call will be buying twice the first price. So if your first price is 20 years, it, the, the, the second one will not be buying twice that. Meaning that whenever it increases from when it bought glass, you should be in profit, no matter how you look at it. So in this case, instead of making 2% of 20 years, it alone, you are now making 2% of not just 20, but 20 plus 40, 60 years. It. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that is when, uh, why in the crypto space, you hear buy the deep, buy the deep, buy the deep, because buying the deep, means that whenever the market increases by 1%, whatever percentage is increasing, you are making more profit than uh, what you initially expected. So if it drops by another 4%, that means four plus this three, that is 7% in this case, you want it to buy the second call to be triggered. So the second call now will not be buying twice what it, it bought previously. So in this case, it will not be 80. So at the end of the day, when the price increases from here, either in 2%, 1% or whatever, you are not making profit of, let's say 1% of 140 USD, 2% of 140 USD, and it goes on like that and like that. So the reason for all of this strategy is because of probability. 
that definitely the market will go down. So when it goes down, we want to take advantage of that, you know, downward movement. So that whenever it increases from there, it will sell for us. So when you have a 700 years and you're using this new strategy, you cannot be stopped. You can only be stopped somehow when the price is moving. Um, let's say you say, okay, you want to take profit when it, it goes up by 2%. And then for the next one hour, the price just remained minus 1%. In as much as it's not increasing in that, within this time frame, you can't make profit because the board will only wait for that instruction that you have given to it to actually be triggered. So if the market remained minus 1% for one hour, two hours, meaning that in that one hour, two hours, you will not make profit. But if in five minutes it increases by 2%, you are in profit. If it is in 30 seconds, it increases by 2%, you are in profit. And do things like that are very possible. My question, my question again is, with, with these new features now, that looks more as if it's better than that um, circle mode. Is it circle mode also? What's now the difference? What makes circle mode now different than this? Now, when you come to the board, the, 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 there are two options that you can actually. So when you come to the board, there are two options when, with any trade you are, you, are, you are setting up. Cycle mode means that when the board sells the first time, you want it to repeat the process again, buy again. When it sells the second time, you want it to repeat the process. So in as much as it is in cycle mode, it will continue to rinse and repeat that process for you. So what that, the, why the cycle mode is um, actually um, good is, if you are looking at this chart right here, um, if this loads up actually, sorry, my network is a bit down. Now, if you look at this, this is on the daily chart, the daily time frame or so. If, if in a day, this market moves from here. It goes up this way, goes up this way, goes up. You wouldn't have been here. Most especially those of you, those of us who have a full-time job that we are doing. You can't be here to monitor that. Let me even go to the five minutes time frame so that you understand it better. Now, this is within five minutes, meaning that this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Maybe in the next 15 minutes or one hour, this market moves from here, and then it continues to go up and up and up and up. So if I measure this now, you may notice that from here to here would have been 100% or 220% or whatever it is. This is what the board would have made for you in profit within this time that you are looking at from here to here. You would have made this in profit for you. That is what the circle mode would have done for you. If you are not using the circle mode and it sells once, maybe it sold somewhere around here and you were not there to set up the another trade, meaning that all of this upward movement here, you were actually losing. You understand? So the circle mode is just sell this once and stop. But this, uh, the, sorry, the single mode is just sell this once and stop. The circle mode continue to sell and sell and sell and sell, and it goes on like that, and like that, and like that. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Uh, so, sorry, I want to ask, is there a difference between, is there an advantage of trading with Binance over Huobi, um, over Huobi? Whether there is advantage. Yeah, a disadvantage. The both of them are all, you, you see, trading view what, when you're analyzing your market, this works, whatever chart you see here, it works for all of the exchange. Now, the difference between Binance and Wobi is in the charges, the user interface, let me start from that. You know, um, what you're seeing here, the way it is displayed here, it is slightly different from what Wobi may have. The charges, you know, the fee that it charges for each of the trade you carry out, what Binance charges is different from what will be charges. And when it comes to verifying your account, the process of verifying your account with Binance is different from the way Huobi will verify your account and the rest. And then customer support. So in terms of trading, they are all the same trading platform, the same exchange. 
So this, there are coins you will trade on Binance that you may not see in Huobi. And there are coins you will trade on Huobi that you cannot see on Binance. So these are some of the things you should be looking at. There are a tons of tokens or coins you will trade on Binance that you cannot see on Huobi. And then there are a lot you can see on Huobi that you cannot see on Binance. For instance, if you send out a signal to trade cake, you cannot trade cake on, on Huobi. To trade uh, BNB, you cannot trade BNB on Huobi, and it goes on and on and on. So there are a lot of differences when it comes to the way they charge and the number of tokens you can trade, and you know, a lot, a lot of some things like that. But they are all both um, trading platform actually. All right, thank you. Right. Thank you. Um, I believe we all understood this. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for being here this evening. And uh, this should be, be able to, with the new um, implemented feature on Prime, but should be able to aid us to, you know, um, see how we can carry our downlines uh, uh, along and then make money with it. And our Zoom meeting on Monday, I'm on this Zoom meeting. Um, I'm going to be talking about, um, I promised to start this metaverse stuff. I think, was it this week or last week? I couldn't because of my health. Um, we'll talk about more, we'll talk more about metaverses, how to get involved because that is the new trend now. Some of those tokens that are related to metaverses and the rest, if you don't pay attention to them, maybe tomorrow when they fight, you know, when every attention becomes on them, you would have been like, oh, I heard about Metaverse five years ago. I didn't take action. And then you'd be like, who sent you? So the earlier you note some of these major projects, and then even if you don't have money to buy a land, you don't have money to develop an NFT or whatever, you don't have a, a, how to go into a Metaverse project and the rest. You can buy the ways you can get involved, you know, getting involved with the tokens. You can buy and hold some of the tokens, you know, that will do well in the future. You can, a lot of things you can actually do aside investing in major projects that involves a lot of money. So with your little amount of money, you can get involved with some of those things and actually benefit from it. So by Monday, I think our focus should be there. Then after that, we can take questions as regards Prime Board and the rest. So thank you once again for being here and um, do have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see. All right, Samuel, you want to say something? Go ahead. Hi, yes. Good evening once again, uh, Leonard. And thank you for your time for always being there for us. Sorry, uh, but I was having network uh, fluctuation, so I couldn't like um, get get you from the start. So I just want to find out if um, the meeting was uh, on, uh, if you were recording, so that I will not put you through the stress of you going back and explaining. So that tomorrow, maybe when you release the um, the recorded version, I can go through it and at least make up with what whatever I missed. Thank you. All right. So uh, I I will upload the recorded version. It's all right. I am recording, so I will know the recorded version. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Thank you, everyone. Good night. All right. Do have a wonderful weekend. Goodbye.